four tips in getting your offer accepted. Hi there, this is Kasama Lee, your American Canyon Community Realtor. If you find the content valuable, you want to hit subscribe and you know it, the bell notification so you don't miss future videos. Thanks for sharing this video. Let's get the content out so that we can serve more people and support the channel. Tip number one, get your pre-approval letter in place. No, 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 I did not say a pre-qualification. I said a pre-approval letter. What that means is you would have had to submit all of your required documentations, your W-2s, your bank statements, your tax returns, and so on and so forth. And the lender should have already done the due diligence and have submitted your loan scenario to their underwriting department. That's how you get a pre-approval. In other words, there shouldn't be any surprises. Once you have that approval, there shouldn't be another, oops, forgot about this, and now you're not really approved. So the pre-approval is really key. And that's, you know, when I represent the seller and when I receive a pre-approval letter, I wanna make sure that that's a real pre-approval and it's not, you know, some online auto-generated pre-qualification letter very important. Tip number two, in your offer, if there are contingencies, and there usually are, if you are financing for a loan, you're going to have at least two contingencies. One is the appraisal contingency, which the lender would order an appraisal to be done to get the market value of the property. The second contingency is the actual loan contingency. So once the appraisal report comes back to the lender, they have to go through the underwriting again and make sure that the loan is approved. So those two contingencies are going to be written in when you submit your offer. And if you can get those contingencies to be shorter, right, and you're going to need to talk to your lender and your real estate agent about this, that's going to strengthen your offer. And if you don't understand what I just said there, you need to get with your real estate agents, have them really elaborate that for you. I know that I did a video way back, way back, like years ago, explaining what all these contingencies are. And if you need more information, feel free to just email me at kasama at kasamasales.com and I will be more than happy to get that video out to you. Now, there is a third contingency and that has nothing to do with your loan. It has to do with property inspection. Typically, there are three sort of general types of inspections that are done roof inspection, whole house inspection, and pest slash termite inspection that's done. If you can keep that contingency short as well, that's going to help strengthen your offer. Again, if I said it all too fast, you need to get with your highly competent real estate agent to explain that to you. Tip number three, in California, there is part of the offer where you are saying you are going to deposit an EMD that stands for earnest money deposit that needs to be deposited as soon as the your offer is accepted. Now, I would highly suggest if you are in California to get your EMD to be at 3% of the purchase price. The higher or the closer to the 3%, the better your offer is going to look. Again, for more information, ask your, you know it, real estate agent. Tip number four, to determine whether the price that you're offering makes sense, ask your real estate agent who's writing your offer for recently sold comps, comparables to the property that you're writing an offer on. So you have an idea of what, what price, at which price homes that are comparable to the property that you're writing on recently sold at. That's going to give you an indication of whether you need to write, submit an offer above asking price or at the asking price or below asking price if it's overpriced or the condition deems necessary that you could write an offer below asking price. But what I will tell you is in the market that we're in, in 2024 currently, to be competitive, you kind of have to be at least at the asking price or above asking price even. So there you have it. I hope these four tips will get you going in beefing up your offer so that your offer can be on its way to getting accepted. Again, talk to your trusted, highly competent real estate agent about all of these strategies 
these are the winning, some of the winning strategies. There are a lot more depending on which market you're in. And I wish you the best. Good luck on getting your offer accepted. Thanks for watching.